Hello friends, welcome to my channel Media Creation Club with the latest updates. In this short video, I am going to show you how you can connect your modem. As you can see in my hand, this one is the modem fiber. You can see the fiber incoming. So how we can uh, connect the two routers with this one. So we have two Wi-Fi connection with that uh, one modem. If we this one is main incoming modem and then we take the one router this one and then one router this one so in our house we have the three ip address this one is the one different ip this one different ip and then this one is different ip so we can use to our work so how we can do the connections all everything you can see in this video so before we continue if you are new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's begin to our topic so first of all we need to do the cabling first as you can see this one is the four lane output then charger and then two telephone cable so i am not using the telephone uh, cable i am using the fiber uh, internet so i add the fiber connection here then take one lane for the router then second lane also I take from my another router very simple so many people confuse that how they can do the connections how they put the cabling uh, so you can see in this video then, then here uh, this one I am using the micro kit uh, router so you can see here the PoE is this one and then this one is the four uh, uh, ethernet so i use the here the main incoming internet and then here also you can see this one is the d-link router it's a lot so you can see here the internet and then four lane cable so i put here the lane cable then i use here the main fiber connection you can see fiber connection you have to uh, put properly uh, sometimes it's very fast to break so you need to be careful how you can adjust and then push inside so it will lock you see it's already locked and then you need to be careful because this one is the laser point so you need to be careful the cable then I put here now it's time to give the connections to supply give the supply so I need to now I give the supply first to the main modem then after that I give the supply to another router Then the third router is the black one. Now I own the router. You can see the power lamp is already on. Then if a PON light is on, so it means to we get the internet and then lane cable the connected uh, with this router. You can see the two one and two. So it will blink the lights and then the how to get the IP address and then change the password all or in the router settings all you can see the back of the router got IP address the default IP address so you can enter in the computer and then you can uh, manage the settings to create the password or uh, create the security all everything you can see here now it's working the both then if I can show you the this one the router micro kit you can see the internet is on that one is the internet connection that one is on if I show you my phone but phone is uh, I'm now recording so I cannot show the phone so I can show you in the computer you see the this one is the connected and then in other Wi-Fi also you can see the D-Link uh, it's connected 
on the Wi-Fi. If there is no Wi-Fi, this one is the uh, yellow color. Then you can uh, change the router settings here with the default IP address uh, on the sticker. You can get the default IP address, de uh, default password to enter the router to create the password and then change the settings, all everything. If you want to learn the uh, passwords, uh, comment below so I will do the settings of the router how you can create the password how you can change the password all everything i can uh, give you in other video so that is the basic connections that normally uh, people uh, don't know how to uh, use the routers with the modem normally this one is the modem uh, take out the, from the lane cable to give the router the main internet or uh, poe so can create the uh, different different Wi-Fi and then different IP address main IP address is this one so this this router create another IP and then this router is create another IP the main default IP is this modem so that is the basic connection that everybody is know but I do the video to share with you so you can easily do in your house so hope this video is going to helpful for you if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's see you in the next video with the new updates thank you